everybody welcome back to the channel uh, it's been a little while since i posted a video since i finished the uh, pennywise diorama uh, work has been busy i've been out of town for uh, the last week uh, but i'm off for the next couple of days and i wanted to get another video out and so today we're going to take a look at uh, a quick review on the department 56 um, uh, snow village halloween victorian house uh, one of my favorite homes it sits in the uh, manor row uh, village that I've got set up in our dining room. And so uh, with that, let's take a closer look at this uh, this home. Okay, this house was uh, released by Department 56 in 2005. It was retired two years later in 2007, and it retailed uh, at the time when it was new in 2005 for a suggested retail price of $85. It is certainly significantly gone up uh, since then, although you can find some of these homes on eBay and uh, Macari and OfferUp uh, at, you know, not outrageous or crazy prices. You just got to watch and be careful, but very detailed, uh, typical Department 56 paint job. Um, and so we'll take a closer look at that here in a moment. The one thing that I kind of like and also kind of dislike about this house one is the the paint job is amazing i mean you can see the the lattice work and the little roses and and you know the vines that go up the the window detail the chimney detail with the bricks a very well done very good paint job the only thing i don't like um, i like more of a matte finish on the haunted homes and this is a very uh, not matte finish. This is very, very glossy, very shiny. You can see it like the attic there as I turn it. it I mean, you can see it sort of glisten uh, with a kitchen light. So still a beautiful home. Uh, it's got the, you know, several trees around it. You've got one tree here, a bigger tree up front, and then another tree uh, on the side of the porch, and then another tree on the other side of the house. So four, four total trees. You've got a little ghost, a little bat, a couple of bats in this one. Uh, you've got a bat coming off a little wire on the front porch. You've got a couple of little luminaries uh, down at the front porch that are carved out like pumpkins. Um, and then you've got the railing that goes all the way around with the purple and orange lights. Now, when we talk about the lights on this house, this is this is uh, was released with a couple options. It's called Lights Anywhere, and essentially this is battery operated. So you've got this little switch in the back uh, that turns the lights on and off uh, with just a flick of a switch. Uh, you can see they come on and they go off. Uh, it's also on a timer. I, I can't remember exactly. I think it's eight or maybe it's eight hours or so that it's on a timer. Uh, but eventually they do go off. Unfortunately, they don't come back on again by themselves. So every time you want to use this home, you have to remember to, to turn it on. So that gets a little bothersome as well but all in all it's just a beautiful house i love the style and the features on this house and i do believe that they sell a kit that you can convert this house from anywhere lighting to uh normal you know you can throw an led bulb up in there uh, and i believe they have a connector on there that would connect to allow you to fire these lights up as well i need to do a little more research on that so i'm not positive if anybody knows if you have this house or you you've converted it, you know, let me know in the comments because uh, at in some at some point in the future, I may certainly want to do that. I like having everything on a timer uh, and just set it and forget it, and then that way it comes on and goes off at the same time every evening. And so, uh, with this one, you got to go and at least for me, I got to go and turn it on. Um, but it is a beautiful home. I love the purple and orange lights. Uh, the the inside of the home lights up uh, with a. Uh, a small white LED light. It looks really, really good uh, in the dark. Uh, so this is uh, the Victorian house. Again, very, very good paint job. With that, let's take a, uh, a closer look and I'll show you some of the details on it. And you can see some of the finer details on the spires, the roof. It's got plenty of, uh, you know, foliage on the, uh, the top of the roof, the leaves coming off and down on top of the little balcony there as well. 
You can see the bat and the little luminaries. Some jack-o'-lanterns sitting on the front porch. You can see the trees. I mean, the paint job on this is, is you know, typical Department 56. It's just really, really well done. Uh, it looks great all around. This is a beautiful home. It would make a great addition to any spooky village or you know, Manor Row or, or whatever, wherever you want to display it. It actually would look good as a vignette all by itself uh, with some trees around and uh, you know, some kids trick-or-treating out front. Uh, there is no soundtrack or anything on this, but uh, uh, you can see it looks really, really, really nice. Um, very good paint job, even on the, the tiling on the shingles on the, on the roof. Really, really good. So, uh, guys, with that, that is a closer look at the Department 56 uh, Victorian home uh, from the Snow Village Halloween collection. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a closer look. Uh, if you're considering, you know, maybe trying to find this piece or you wanted a closer look at it, hopefully that review helps you. It is a great piece to have in your collection. Uh, if you're doing Department 56 or you're doing any sort of, you know, spooky Halloween town or a, a, a manor row, you know, some of the bigger bigger homes, this, this home fits perfectly into that genre there. So it was a must have for me. I spent uh, many months looking for it, got a, a fairly good deal on it online and was able to uh, to have it delivered. And so very pleased with that purchase. So hopefully that review helps you. Um, if it does and you, you like it, please uh, click the like button, certainly enjoy that. And if you have questions or comments, if you know more about the lighting or how to convert the house to a, an electrical plug, uh, shoot me a comment there as well. I read all those, I try to respond to every one of those. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and consider doing that. Again, it keeps me fired up, keeps me motivated. Uh, my, my, the rest of my October is, is uh, really gonna be a whirlwind. I don't know that I'm gonna do any more um, vignettes or builds up, up through to Halloween. I'm gonna start focusing now on Christmas. Uh, my work and job's gonna take me um, away for a little while uh, through the rest of October. And so I'll do a couple more reviews leading up to Halloween. Uh, so you got that to look forward to. Uh, if there's something that you've seen in my collection that you absolutely want me to do a review on, again, shoot me a note uh, in the comments and let me know what, uh, what you'd like to see and I'll absolutely do that. That's easy, not a, not a problem. Uh, also, I wanna give a shout out to Doug over at Spooky Villages, his YouTube channel. He's got a ton of followers and he did a contest this year, 2021 um, Spooky Village Halloween contest uh, with a one minute video, a ton of entries. I submitted an entry as well on my Trick or Treat Lane, the village you see uh, behind me um, and one second place. So I wanted to thank Doug uh, for doing that. That is a, a remarkable way to, uh, to you know, show the community that, that certainly he is involved. He's been doing this for a very long time and he's got an awesome YouTube channel. So if you haven't seen him, uh, most of you probably have, but if you haven't, uh, swing over to Spooky Villages on YouTube uh, and subscribe to that channel. He does a ton of reviews and just a ton of candle reviews. Incredibly nice, uh, intelligent uh, guy that, that's been doing this for a very long time. So if you haven't you haven't swung over there, do that and, uh, and give him a look as well. Uh, with that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. We'll be talking to you soon. Take care.